below everybody. Yeah, there we go. Do that. Um, I'm going to have to really annoyingly do a quick test because um, my usual microphone's not working and I haven't figured it out. So uh, just here we go. I'm going to fire some me talking in. I'm going to fire some me talking. Chat's coming through. And then we're going to do some more. to do this first but I never do um, I think it's good no that's not what I want to do um, not me I've like forgotten how there it is got it got it got it okay um, welcome to another stream it's Sunday morning um, it, it'll probably be a pretty un uneventful just boring morning session right that's, that's what we do here we we do boring morning sessions we hang out we talk porn when people ask porn questions and music um yeah so i'm i'm kind of just picking what to start with here because there's so many there's just so many options right yeah there is um that is buzz um. That's one of my favorite exercises. Let me do the octave. And then we do one more time. We'll do uh, all the way to the pedal. Something like that. Yeah. Okay, now we're just going to do a little scale. I want these ones. And now I'm going to do the same thing on my burp. Um, burp. Buzz Enhancement Resistance P, WP stands for. Um. want to make sure cool 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 all right um i guess let's start by doing a scale and you know how we are let's there you go e flat major good nice easy way to start today um I'll do like six notes on E flat. That's weird. Oh, I'm crooked. I'm so on an angle right now. All right. I can't go on until I fix this. Um, I was having camera issues. Well, oh, yeah, that's this thing. I 
just had to get that way. Okay, here we go. I feel like I should have, I, I spun the flat, I should have just not took the starting note, let's see what I got. Uh, yeah, there's those great the Loiba exercises, I'll do like a, a version of the Loibas. I probably should talk into my mic, um, I'll do the Loibas, um, any flat though.
as I squint at my screen. Dumbest part, my glasses are right here. Oh, there's the world. I see the world. I don't squinty. I yeah, check my manager. I'm like, he's squinting and staring at stuff. Um, cool. Let's let's spin the wheel. We'll just play whatever 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 scale. Comes out. We do that way. Oh, it takes just fine. D major, nice and easy. Take like a, a short break and it could be how many octaves? <laughs> you type, right? Like barking dogs. <laughs> um We'll call it um Now we can really watch me flounder. Um, now it should, now it should update, right? Ah, oh, it didn't work. Okay, well, another day. We're here. We are. We are. We're getting. Curious. We didn't update anything. Well, we're gonna deal with that one later. I was I was getting cocky on stream. You were gonna like we're just gonna add a, a type. Um, but yeah, let's just do like we'll do all the scales from from G. So that was G major. So we'll do G minor. <laughs> this hang on hang on everybody there we go um i'm just going to quickly change a thing um we're gonna do this one we're gonna do that that one. There we go. Done. Um, I just gotta crop it. Sorry, I should have set this up in advance. I keep not doing this. Filters, crop, boom, done. Transition, M mouthpieces. <laughs> That's, I, was, I was like, let's look at some pictures of some mouthpieces, everybody. No, 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 no. Um, I just wanna show you what we're doing. Besides the dogs barking, right? Um, hi, Reese. Uh, what am I doing? I'm getting distracted by barking dogs. Yep, boring warm up stuff. Quick, 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 quick. Um, what the heck am I doing? 100. Wait.
today, which is good. Um, it's good things feel terrible because I have a recording session later. Uh, and nothing makes recording success nothing makes recording sessions successful <laughs> like uh, being crappy shit. What are we doing? B flat. <laughs> Okay, what am I doing next in this nightmare daily warm up? There, this won't drop off. Yeah, it's Blender. <coughs> Why did I open Blender? There we go. I'm even wearing glasses for once. I can't blame it on being blind. What do we do? What do we do today? Yeah, you know what? I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna go back to what was working before. Um, before, as in like last time we were here. If anyone knows, my favorite the flexibility exercises are the uh, these uh, these ones. All right, you can hit the transition. There we go. These ones here. Um, and we'll and we'll do our usual. Um, way of doing this right we'll do some uh, it's too slow one fast and we'll start at a respectable 68 <laughs> Take that one as it is. That's 
rough. Oh, why did I have to record today? Oh, let's do flex three. Same as, same as last time. Um, I remember last time someone was asking me, do I have a routine? Uh, the answer is no. Um, I, I have a, a, a big collection of exercises I like to do that work on all the facets of playing, and I choose the ones that make sense at the time. And, and the whole idea behind it is that, or, or at least the philosophy I have, is eventually you're working like what I just did, right? It, it was like, well, last time I did this, I got it to 76, and... You know, th there's this goal, you're like, well, I want to beat it, I want to get faster, where it's not really working on the flexibility anymore. You're just working on doing the exercise as fast as you did last time, um, or faster, um, and not the quality of the exercise. So that's why I, I switch it up. So yeah, actually doing this exercise two days in a row is like, man, you're going crazy. You're, you're getting you're getting weird. So we'll start at 70. Super the best. That's um annoying. So so what do we do? I guess we spin the wheel, right? That's sort of our game right now. We're gonna do a spin. Um and then we play A major. Okay. Exercises? No, I wouldn't. I was like, I was the only thing like, yeah, my brakes not. I'm not moving very fluidly through my brakes, but I would never do brake exercises here. <laughs> That's way too horrible sounding. So I guess this question: What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Um, things feel like bad. Um, let's do some arpeggios. Stay with our wheel for like a face. Here's some A major arpeggios.
sharp it's just it's not sitting my brake is not there um so i'm gonna pull up the stamp exercises for that um just to see if we can get get it working a bit before i record um the the basic warm-up from stamp it is and will forever be like one of my favorite uh oh my break isn't working exercises um <clears throat> excuse me that's weird um just sort of going the opposite way of doing like the uh like vc studies because then you get this um should use this nearby in here. I need to. I need to set that up. Just set the screen right. Um, because you get the chance to to connect um, through the registers because of the the fifth or the fourth, I guess, because it's any fourth. Um, for me at least, it puts me over my break, and that lets me work on that. Um, for example, like. <laughs> take them freely so that we can like really focus on the quarter note before the interval in my insane bed hair um but yeah then you get a focus on that <coughs> click and you, you get a blow air through it you see it's that part right there working with these stamps um so I guess a, a quick like how and why, how is this and why is this? There, there are a lot of ways to do the stamp exercises. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the top two rows. A and my goal is that the first three notes, right? If we look at these as groups of threes, so, so like, um, the CDC right there is group one, right? So, so. The air for those is just a block. Um, same for group two. And then group three for me is this sort of like dovetail of sections two and three, where the G goes from being the sustained air to you sort of just like open the valve up a little bit more while moving to a lower vowel to sort of fill in that motion. Um, so I'll play through it. Yeah, I guess and like there's, there's three sections there's the block, the block, and then the transition. And and really we could say there's four. We could call the, the upper C to G a transition too, but it doesn't take me over my break, so it's, I don't really, it's, it's not as big of a deal. Um, but yeah, it's what happens to the air on that quarter note. So let's do that. <laughs> Again, it's the note before the leap to the full note. I'll take that one again. There's a bit of fuzz coming up to the back of the F. Um, I just started moving before I was able to move. sort of how I'll use these. Um, I'm not going to go any lower than that because my low range is working. Um, and, and the purpose of me doing these was to, to get that mid-range to work. Um, sorry. The there we go. Um, 
yeah, it, it's just it's getting that air to work. Um, I'm gonna do those one more time, I think, because um, right now it, it's about just making it work. And so reminding um, if anyone can, because um, there there are so many different ways to do the stamp. You have section one, first three notes, jet of air, nothing changes. Easy transition to the G, so I don't worry about it. Straight jet of air. And then we come to these last notes. When we reach the G, we open up the air valve. We let more air out. But keeping the embouchure really set for the G, not like moving early to reach below C. And then sort of there's this magical moment where the air speed is right. And you, you need to then shift to the lower vowel. I think that's that, that magic, that this, this magical moment is as you increase the air speed and the note is gonna threaten to go up, you shift to a lower vowel and it pops down for you. Um, and it keeps the tone nice and equal. Um, so we'll do it again one more time. It's just, you know, super important to not, um, like, um, what am I trying to say? You don't want to anticipate the low note and, like, bump past it. For this way, there, there are a lot of ways you can do this exercise where that is part of the equation. Um, but for how I'm using this, that's not part of the equation. The equation is about keeping it even and keeping it equal. Um, I'm going to stay in the stamp book, actually. Um, And we're going to do alternate warm-up one. Um, just a couple, probably go a few. And I'm going to play these on normal fingerings for the most part. Ah, we'll do them on lips too. We'll, we'll do them on the lips. Um, just, just keeping it nice and easy, getting through this range, which isn't responding to me today. Right? This is the fun of the professional. You're like, wow, what's it like to be a professional? Well, you see what doesn't work today. And you try to figure it out. Things just feel like not awesome. Th things could be feeling better. That's what I'm getting at. That's what I'm getting at. Things could be feeling better. Um, okay. Onwards. Um, you know, I'm just stamp feels right right now. Let's let's jump to um. Yeah, and, and some those brackets mean bends. I'm not doing the bends. Um, 
so now we're going to reach in the low ranks and we're going to send upwards and just see if we can start knitting this other this together and it, it's it's like a a below staff a flatter <laughs> to that d um it's like a fourth and it's not working but that fourth is <laughs> it's just right in the middle of everything so i gotta let it work um so yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna do these ones here um same thing i'm probably only gonna do I don't know. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna play. We'll see what happens. Regular fingering. <laughs> one too that's what we're doing but we'll take it through all of my valves so i'll do open and then maybe we'll go up to d4 we'll see how it feels <laughs> send up the B horn with some range in. that my my one mic's not working that's what it is right um okay where are we going let's go back to our main scene here what spin that wheel pick ski pick ski pick ski gotta do scales um oops uh oh oh <laughs> i just made a mess of things my bad um spin wheel not setting Very good. Hey, flat major. Okay. Okay. <laughs>
Turn it again. Turn it again. Let's do a couple wheels and then we'll be done. Everything feels like Garbo. E major. Sweet, let's do another one. More wheel spins. More spin wheel. Um, ending the session because I don't know what's going on. C major. We can do C major. Um, take us through octaves. Oh, no, the Baron, I screwed up at the top. Let's try one more time. Session E flat again. Um, let's do three slur. Oh, I know we'll do. Start at the top, go to the pedal. Feel gobble. I don't even know what I tried to say. Um, did you the brake register feel so bad? Um, one more wheel spin. I'm gonna get something ready in the background to do last. A major. Okay. Let's do some A major. Um, <laughs> and trying to speak at the same time um do your just do a scale and like do it in all three or four octaves and just like make damn sure that the color matches um so like my low a just this sounds like a blender today right this like down there it's thuddy it's not responding so at least doing it that way not that way the way i did it um before it gives me a shot to at least like deal with the fact that it sounds like a blender going off so i'm gonna pick oh what won't i hate myself for this is easy coping i hate that i say it's easy uh, let's do 10 i guess i need to do that Boop. there you go um number 10 everybody's favorite um it, it is actually a really good way to, I, know, I find, end a session. For me, it lets me, like, it's firm articulation. Now, I'm probably not going to do it with repeats, just because that would be brutal. Um, so we'll do 116, maybe? 
What do you do? Um, that's our tempo. Yeah, we won't do any repeats. Um, I haven't played this one in a while. Sorry, I'm talking over on Matt again. Which I know is just so annoying. So yeah, uh, we'll just finish with some Kofresh. Kofresh, number 10. Mainly because it's going to force me... <laughs> I'm going to have to deal with the register if not working, right? That's the beauty of it. thinking about it um i just have it lately i'm thinking too much i was trying to think oh my gosh should i do this in e flat should i do it transposed no play it as it's written on the page um one of my biggest things with students when i work on this one and i didn't do it so i annoyed myself long quarter notes make a nice good long quarter here we go number 10 like absolutely crapping on the high f sharp um this one right here that looks like it could almost be a g because where the line is that's my excuse um that f sharp really sharp uh it's really high i, I know i'm in c major and we're moving to the dominant on the downbeat but it, it was way too high so this time through i'm gonna try to pull that f sharp a little bit lower um so that we can hear landing on G as the resolution. Because it was a little like violin tuny, right? It was a little mix of like really lean into that raise raise fourth and we don't want to do that. So the same thing one more time. Grabbing that F sharp. So we can hear the F sharp to G resolution right in here. Um, keeping that note long, keeping that note long, and then playing an actual F sharp there. That's the goal. celebrating that I played this F sharp and this F sharp were in tune because then I crapped all over that F sharp um, which is now the leading tone um, yeah it's fine um, we're just going to crank the tempo a little bit um, I'll give myself that one miss and remember this is one of those days there we go same thing um, picking up the speed probably try to get a little more dynamic contrast now um, and still just the intonation on those F-sharps, being so aware of it. assessment brain mode these have sharps were, were bang on where I wanted to this G was like it, it just didn't have a home um, compared to the G's around it um, so what we're gonna do now um, 
My favorite. We're just gonna put a drone on, on an F, and play the thing. Sorry. <laughs> the second half um it's a little more to say there sorry to like put you through drone drone world i also can turn off too slow one fast because we're not currently doing too slow one fast we're just bashing our way through um some co-crash yeah we'll do the second half now same rules just sort of looking for where things are we'll do the first chunk at 118 that was a minor one of advice um, that almost got me that time is pick how which ending you're doing before you get there I just went out because I, I panicked um, I could do the FTC right the uh, yeah it's a D it's a D um, this section what what is so important to me um, quarter notes quarter notes like this, there's only two of them, but they're, they're so musical. The da da the da da They're such musical singing notes, and it sets us up. Um, if we chop them short, uh, this thing stops being musical. I'll do it one more time, but let's just let's bump it, bump it faster. <laughs> scrappy um, on on these two measures right in the middle of the modulation I don't know I just like wasn't thinking <coughs> yeah it, it just modulating back I lost I just didn't think that's stupid that's the problem all right let's do it again so what am I gonna do better um, I'm gonna think I'll make sure I got air for this um, and I'm going to make sure from here all the way to here, right, the forte section, that I phrase within the forte um, so that when I come to do the dim, I have space to dim. I just don't really have space to make a good dim. There we go. So with that, I think we uh, we come to the end of this one. Um, I may be back this afternoon to do like record a Bach quartet or something. It just depends if I can get this other recording project done that I'm like you know I've been hired to do. Sorry, reading a text. 
Um, sorry. Yeah, I, I, I just have a, an improv thing I got to record for somebody on a, some folk music. So I will do that. And then if I feel up to it and I have time, because I'm not editing until I hate myself, I'll come back and maybe record some back. Or maybe see if we can figure out the audio routing. Because we couldn't do that last time, and that made us sad. Um, so, yeah, thanks for coming by. Uh, if you're not following, show me a follow. Or don't. I mean, that's cool, too. Um, also, yeah, let me know if there's anything you want to see in these things. Because usually it's just me practicing, and I try to explain some stuff when it's useful. All right. Bye, everybody.